Hey Internet, today we're going to be talking about emojis. More specifically, Microsoft and emojis. Whoa, I know, crazy. Now, it all started, and I discovered this, when it all started, when I went into the feedback hub. I check it from time to time, you know. They have some cool things in there, you know, news about Windows and Microsoft and stuff, and you can give feedback about how well things are doing, you know, in Microsoft, you know, things, and how well things are doing with Windows and, you know, what things Microsoft needs to add or change, so on. But most importantly, or what I like the most, is Quests. And they, let, they tell you about all the new features that are in Microsoft, or Microsoft Windows, that Microsoft has put into Windows, I should say. So, you know, check it from time to time. Could try it. Kind of cool. See what Microsoft's coming out. And then I saw this. This one right here. Search for emojis in the emoji panel. <laughs> so apparently now Microsoft has dove head deep into emojis. So it's, so it's not only on your phone. Now you can get it on your computer. Mind blown, I know. <laughs> Kind of taking a look at it. Now they give you a picture. Now in the quest for this particular quest, so emo, you know, emojis and emoji panel. You can see they give you a picture, and this person apparently is searching for a flower. And they give you some instructions of how to try it, and I'll generally summarize it. If you want to read it, I will give a pause, quick pause, and you can read it, or you can actually hit the pause button in the video. You know, like down below. So, quick summary. Basically, if you don't have an English, you know, U.S. keyboard, here's how you can set, you know, make it compatible. Um, they put, uh, blah, blah, blah. so you can basically type, and when you want to add an emoji, you hit the Windows key and the period or semicolon in addition to the Windows key. You then release and then type for the emoji you're looking for, and then you click on the emoji you want. So let's give this a try. So what, what's a better place to try put text in than Word? Waiting for Word to load. Boom, Word came up. So let's try some standard text. Now, let's try it with the emojis. So I'm hitting the Windows key, and that, and the little panel comes up. It's kind of cool, in a sense. Gives you, I guess, a lot of recently used and popular emojis. It also get, apparently also sorts them into category. This looks like smiley faces. Well, oh, there we go. Smiley faces and animals. People. What's this one? Celebration and objects. Food and places. Of course, there's a pizza. Car. What is this? Symbols. And this is transportation and places. But if we want, let's search. So they used flower for as their example. F L O W. Here we go. Here's the flower. And if you notice, what I type appears up in this little box up here in the left hand corner so I'll click on it and there we go we got a flower now I'm wondering can we change we can change the font and size of different characters so what if we can change the font and size of the emojis so let's let's try a common one uh, why not do I don't know smiley face so we'll select it and lo and behold I can change the size can make 72 font emoji smiley face. <laughs> now, let's try, I don't know, we'll, we'll try 14. See what else they have. Oh, they have bacon. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Bacon. Bacon every day. Uh, you know what, let's make this one 48. 48 bacon. So yes, apparently now... Thanks to the power of Microsoft, 
You can put emojis in your Word documents. Mind blown. <laughs> I don't know if this is a stupid idea or a brilliant idea. Make, no, it's both. It's stupid and brilliant at the same time. It's like stu brilliance or brill stupid, stupen. I don't even know. I don't even know. It's just brilliant and stupid at the same time. It's just like emojis. You can put them in a word. It's kind of like the alt. Apparently, it's kind of like the alt hack. But like, there you don't have to memorize all the Unicode, the Unicode characters. And if you don't know what the alt hack is or Unicode. I will probably be having a video coming up very shortly, and if I do have it up, by the time you see this video, it will be in the description, so check the description. If it isn't there, be patient. It takes time to make videos. So, going back to magical emojiness in Word, you can put emojis in Word! I'm just like, I can't get over this. This is either stupid or brilliant in the same time. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. So, but what I do want to try, so all, yes, all you high schoolers out there, or college students, you know, who are currently in college at this moment, and I will try this the next time I have a huge paper due, I dare one of you, at least one of you, please put an emoji in one of your papers that you actually have to turn in. You know, maybe start with a rough cop, you know, with a rough copy that you, you know, if you put it in there, they won't grade you too hardly on it. But just try an emoji in there. Someone, like a PowerPoint or something, put an emoji. Just, just put an emoji. Maybe nothing too big where, you know, the teacher won't go completely mean on you if you do. But try it. Put an emoji. Yes. Put an emoji. I dare someone to. And if you do, either put it, you know, like a, of a, a description of how it went in the comments, you know, or make your own YouTube video. There you go, you know, whip out your smartphone and make a video about what happened when you put emojis in your Word document or PowerPoint that you turned in for school. So this could probably work with PowerPoint. Speaking about PowerPoint, let's try PowerPoint. Yeah. So let's see if we can make Emoji titles. <laughs> Feel like Jimmy Kimmel doing like his recap of The Bachelor with emojis. So it's in PowerPoint now. <laughs> so let's do smiley face. It works! Not as colorful, but it still works. And can we do bacon? <laughs> I can put bacon emojis in PowerPoint. Just like, again, I don't know if this is brilliant or stupid. It just like, it just is both. It is just both. Brilliant and stupid at the same time. Let's see what else we can do. Put bacon. Let's see if we can put, like, a train. Bit of a fan of trains. Yes, I put a train emoji in there. <laughs> oh my god, this is brilliant. But this is stupid. I just... I know. Let's try... Heart emoji. Birthday cake. So apparently I can put emojis in PowerPoint. <laughs> yes, again, so one of you, please try this. Put emojis in a school project. Not a big one, maybe even a rough, maybe if it's like an English paper, like a rough draft, but someone has to please try this. Just please. Now, I was also wondering what other emojis they have. So, going back to Word, because apparently Word has color emojis. You can also, like I mentioned, they not only have categories, but you can search for them, as I kind of mentioned before. So, I don't know. Let's try... I want to see what else. Let's try music, because I'm a big music person. M-U-S-I-C. Ah, they have a bunch of music stuff. And again, I type in music and it appears up in the left-hand corner, kind of like the flower. It did with the flower, so you can see what you typed. And if you need to make changes, you know, kind of works in real time. Music. Yes. Musicness. So, we know it works in PowerPoint. We know it works in Word. And I believe it's using the Unicode. And again, I will have a video if you don't know what Unicode is. Um, 
definitely try and get a video about Unicode coming soon. If not, it will be, if not, there will be a link in the description. So, but yes, there are Unicode characters, I'm sorry, there are emojis in the Unicode character system, if, just heads up. So this isn't, so being able to put emojis in, I th guess things like this isn't totally new, but being able to do it this way and this easily and not having to look up all the Unicode characters or the Unicode numbers to get the Unicode characters is quite nice. So why not? Let's open a browser. Most of my other browsers have a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to open up a kind of Maxathon Nitro. Come on. And let's see if we can go to Happy Face. <laughs> kind of want to look up. Yes. Oh my god, it looks like I can Google search Happy Face. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you can actually Google search emojis. I know, your life is now complete. So you can use them, basically it looks like you can use them in any place you can put text. Yes! You can even get images. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Let, let's try another one. Oop. That was the wrong key. Yes. Unicool characters. Let's try... Thumb. T-H-U-M. Okay, the only difference is it does, the little box doesn't come up in Word this time, but I can still do thumb, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, and all that. So, moment of truth, bum 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 bum, will Google search this? ba -da! Google can search thumbs up emoji. Before I let you guys go and on your merry merry ways, let's try one place it has, that it may or may not work, notepad. Now, can Notepad do Unicode? So there we go, and we're gonna let's try, you know what? Let's try Winky Smiley Face. All right, not great, but it does kind of sort of work, even in Notepad. Yes, right, <laughs> right. So for those coders who use Notepad, throw emojis in there. <laughs> yes. If I ever take a coding class again, yes, I will just try and throw emojis in there. Just, just in my source code. Randomly in my source code. Just throw emojis in there. Of course, we need some bacon. And I don't know, why not we do a peace sign? <laughs> so, yes. So there you go. We can put emojis in basically any place we can put text. Kind of brilliant, kind of cool, but kind of stupid at the same time. So let's not save this, really don't care. So I guess that's the new quest. I don't know if this is brilliant or if this is stupid or where it generally falls, but like emojis in, you know, Word and PowerPoint and everything. Someone please try this. Just just, just have a page with emojis for you outside the box people. Just, just try it. I gotta see what your reaction is. You know, do a reaction video. Put a comment in the in the description. You know of how it went. Please, someone try this. It just it just has to be done. And when I get a chance, and you know I'm off summer break and all this, I will definitely try emojis in that. So, all right, YouTube. You know, if you like this video and you want more, you know, especially me with that stuff about Unicode and the old hack. Subscribe down here. You know, this channel has some great stuff about music and records and technology and electronics and all fun stuff like that. So, if you want more stuff like that, subscribe, you know, thumbs up the video, share this with your friends, definitely. Maybe they might want to put emojis in their PowerPoints and <laughs> Word documents. I can just totally see this happening. I'm just, I'm just the thought of it's making me like laugh hysterically on the inside. But I digress. And everything else. And of course, internet, thanks for watching. Bye.